What's up guys, hope you're doing well. I'm John. I'm Carson. It's a little rainy outside today. We got a tropical storm, so we figured we'd bring it inside today. We're gonna talk about electricity, light flicker, screens, refresh rates, slow motion, and uh, this video is sponsored by OnePlus, so we're gonna check out the refresh rate on their screen. Should be awesome, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, so now we're gonna get into screens and refresh rates. We're gonna use this really cool YouTube video we found, and we're gonna shoot slow-mo of it. A lot of good colors, good light. So we want a bright shot for our camera yeah. since we're shooting inside. And we're gonna check out how it looks now. And we're gonna see how the TV is refreshing each frame. Oh, so yours goes left to right? Yeah. Interesting, so. So that's still pretty fast. Yeah, when you're looking at a TV screen, you don't notice, but every single frame, the TV is not just showing you the next one, it's it's like wiping it across the screen. How fast it does that is your refresh rate. Yeah. We might, yeah, we might could do some math and see how fast it's refreshing. Yeah, Based I on can, the frames per second and I'll, how many. I'll throw some math up on the screen. I'll, I'll do the math. You're, it's so awesome. Every frame you can see the balls are moving. This is a great image of how. There's a lot of moving like, parts. Everybody's hands are moving. You're just standing still, you're chilling. The craziest thing is that, yeah. And it's doing that right, right now. now yeah, it just. It doesn't matter if a video is playing, the, the screen is, is refreshing itself. Boom, so that's pretty cool that your your TV likes to do the old left yeah. to right. Everybody's TV, everybody's phone. I mean, yeah. all monitors do it. So we're gonna try some other screens now and see what, what they're doing. All right, so now we're gonna try refresh rates on the OnePlus 9 Pro. OnePlus was nice enough to send us a OnePlus 9 Pro to check out their dynamic refresh rates and their nice to sponsor the video. So we're gonna do a slow-mo unboxing. I'm just kidding, we're just gonna do it in real time. It just falls out really slow. So satisfying though. Yeah, it is. That tight clearance of box. I mean, look at that puppy. Let's bring it on over. Do you wanna do the honors of pulling off the, the wrap? This is my first unboxing video. <laughs> this is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a tech reviewer. All right, I know. So we're gonna take off the plastic here. Let's peel that puppy off. Ooh, nice and clean. So that looks pretty it's sweet. Nice. I like the I like the ratio here. Yeah. So we're gonna check out the refresh rates on a phone screen and see how they differ from the other ones. All right. So we're trying the OnePlus now on slow mo, and right off the bat we can see there's yeah, like it's... some weird syncing up of like, are they going slowly? Yeah. It's yeah. They're like slowly walking down the screen. And that's like the refreshes, which is obviously not happening to our eyes, but just, just, just do a couple see. different things, and then we're gonna see what it looks like bouncing around to the different menus. So you can see it's already starting to move with my finger as I'm swiping, which is kind of crazy. And we're gonna do a higher so frame rate like even slowly. More oh, you more. can see it's like starting to move more and more like each refresh. That's really cool. That's awesome. Oh wow, it's going away. I yeah, didn't even know that's what was out. happening. Because yeah. in real life, that looked like it Look, instantly there's like, disappeared. You can see that there's like mul they're overlapping almost. That's really cool. What? That's crazy. All right, so now we're gonna open the YouTube app, see what pops up, and see exactly how the refresh rate looks yeah, on here at 5,700 frames a second. It should look really cool because when I hit the app, it like comes in from the bottom and expands out to the screen. So it should look really cool. All Go right, for it. Go. So fast. John, you're so talented. So Man, I can, I can push buttons. <laughs> All right, so he's already pressed it. That's crazy. Oh, so wow. like, okay. to us, when you click something, it's happening instantaneously, but in, you know, to a phantom camera, there's a few frames in between. Like it literally starts as the size of the icon yeah. on the screen. Oh, you can see right here where I paused it that the, it's, it's bigger on the top than it is on the bottom of the frame because the little refresh line is like Oh working. yeah, that's actually kind of cool. It's like if you scrub through, you can yeah. see. It's it, a great, it's a great uh, catch. Catch, yeah. Catch. <laughs> it's a great observation, I should you say. You see it again here, that yeah. looks really cool. So this OnePlus 9 Pro has a variable refresh rate that changes based off what you're doing on the phone. So we're gonna play around with that. And All right, so we're gonna test navigating through the home screen to the photos and then swiping through some photos, see how the refresh rate changes going into an app from the, the home screen. So here we go. There, the photos, and we'll swipe to a picture. Yeah, I, I think that like the menu is supposed to refresh at a higher rate than an actual photo on the photo app. So I think we might see in the same shot the, the number of, you know, bars with refreshes change. All right, so first off, we're gonna look at the scrolling. One, two, 
three. So it's One, every two, three bars three. on here is changing the pixels on the phone screen. Right. And so I guess that would be equivalent to a high refresh rate. So it means it's refreshing more frequently. Yeah, like twice as fast as when it does six. Um, so now that we're in the Photos app, John's now gonna scroll from one photo to another, and this is all in the same shot, so we're gonna see if it's actually adapting like it says it is real time to situations. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so that's so one, cool. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so it literally cha it just changed the refresh rate right there. And it knew, like, just in changing its, the apps. In, internally, it knew that it was in a, a situation that required less right. of a refresh rate for yeah. the user experience. And so it just it slashed it in half so that yeah. it wasn't using as much battery. Where, yeah, I mean, it, it changed, like, that, you saw, we did I all I mean, that of whole that thing was a second or two. A second, yeah, so, that thing, that's pretty cool. That is cool that, and like literally. Like half it, so I guess it went from 120 hertz on the main screen, like the, the home screen to 60 hertz, I guess. The second the, that photo opened the photos, completely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the only sense. way we can tell on photos is to swipe between them, so that's why we did that, because if it's yeah. just a still photo, it, it looks like changing. that kind of proved that the dynamic refresh rate on this yeah. is actually working because we could we could fact check them with slow motion, yeah. which most people can't do, but now you can take our word for it that <laughs> it uh, is actually doing what it claims to be doing and it's saving you battery life, yeah. which is sick. And it's just cool to know that someone came up with the technology to do yeah. that. Now we're gonna test the OnePlus with gaming, uh, specifically John's favorite game here, Fortnite. And we're gonna see how the dynamic refresh rate responds to gaming instead of, you know, scrolling and images and everything else we've tried. We're running this at 90 FPS, so should be a 90 hertz refresh rate is what we're thinking. Because um, for gaming, you're okay with using a more intensive frame rate because, you know, you wanna get the best experience with fluidity right. and whatever have you. I'm gonna break out the calculator so we can uh, check the refresh rates. Gotta subtract some frames. Okay, so this umbrella just refreshed on the screen. We're at frame 5,419. So I'm gonna put that in the calculator and I'm gonna play it again and I'm gonna pause it once that umbrella refreshes one more time. So right there, so about 5386. So we'll take 5419 minus 5386. These are ballpark numbers. So that's 33, okay, so in 33 frames, and we're filming at 2816 frames a second, so we'll divide that 33 divided by 2816, so that's 0 0.0117. Okay, so now we gotta inverse that, so we'll do one divided by 0 0.0117, which equals 85, so we were ballparking, so that's yeah, our 90, exact number. 90 hertz refresh rate right there. Um, and this is just looking at our frames from our camera and the frame rate. Our ballpark got us very close to 90 hertz, which means a 90, yeah. 90 hertz refresh rate. 90, 90, frames, 90 frames a second, 90 hertz refresh rate makes sense. So yeah, gaming is a higher refresh rate because you want to have that fluid experience. With Fortnite, you can change the frame rate. So if you want to run at a higher 90 FPS, you can, but you can also drop it down and run at 30 FPS, which will be a 30 hertz refresh rate. Yeah, if you need like, if you're really prioritizing battery at that time. Right, you know, right. You're playing on like an airplane or something. Or if you want better quality, like with this Fortnite, you can run a higher frame rate, but your quality is not gonna be as good, so it's a trade off. Kinda similar to our camera, where yeah. you know, <laughs> you can right. only pick one. There you go, 90 hertz refresh rate on video game, and it's pretty cool. That's solid. All right, we're gonna watch the 8K 30 FPS video, see what that looks like. Just a little pan of the slow-mo camera, something pretty simple. All right, so right here, our cable just moved over, and it refreshed the screen, so we're at frame 56. 82. Let's go and move forward and then freeze it again at whatever frame the screen refreshes at again. All right, right there. So probably it says 5588, which I was a little slow. So let's go uh, 5585. I was a couple frames out. So that's 97. So then we'll divide that by our frame rate of our camera. So 2816. 
that gives us 0.03444, yeah. all right? So then now let's do the inverse of that, one divided by 0 0.03444, and that is 29. Hey. So right there at 30 hertz right there, so it's... Math checks out. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so, yeah. pretty cool. So the OnePlus yeah. 9 Pro is capable of playing you back 30 frames per second, 120 yeah, frames per so second, 90. Whatever frame rate you're running on your camera, whatever footage you filmed at, it adjusts the, fr the refresh rate to match your frame rate of your... Uh, your video. All right, John, so how does OnePlus 9 Pro vary their refresh rate from 120 hertz all the way down to one hertz? So OnePlus has got their new fluid display 2.0 technology, and they're using the new LTPO OLEDs, which are the next generation replacing the LTPS OLEDs. So LTPO is low temperature polycrystalline oxides. <laughs> so basically, that allows them to change refresh rates with whatever content you're interacting with on your phone. It's pretty cool technology. I mean, science is getting crazy now, but uh, yeah, that's kind of how it works. Yeah, and as the user, you're just gonna notice your screen's working better than ever and right. <laughs> not understand or you know know all the science that went into it, but that's pretty crazy that that was developed. Yeah, so LTPO, good stuff. All right, successful day. How do you think that all turned out? I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, we tested the dynamic refresh rate of the screen. It obviously is doing what it's saying, so that's pretty cool to see. I mean, saving you battery life. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool, cool feature. And just to be able to adapt to different programs. So, it was, we had a good time, yeah. It was cool to show the dynamic refresh rate. It was cool to show you guys our camera and actually what we do with it behind the scenes. Right. And again, thank you so much to OnePlus for sending us this awesome phone. Yeah. And for sponsoring this video, the OnePlus 9 Pro has a really cool dynamic refresh rate and we just proved it with a slow-mo camera with a little bit of science. So yeah. I'd say that was a good way to do it because I never would have known if they were telling the truth or not, but no. now you guys can take our word for it right. to take their word for it. I guess we're going to be held accountable now, so... I mean, it checked out for us, so there we yeah. go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Adios.